Some breaking news this morning from two area airports. We're getting word of two incidents. The first happened at Reagan National. There were reports of smoke on board a plane and we're told it landed safely and taxied to the gate and the airport fire department checked out the plane and did clear it as safe. Meanwhile, the second incident happened at Dulles International. There a plane reported a mechanical issue. We're told that plane has now landed and is taxiing. I will update you on both these incidents as soon as we learn more information. Well, meanwhile, as the wait continues for a grand jury decision in the shooting death of Michael Brown, new surveillance video has been released of Officer Darren Wilson. Captured just hours after he shot and killed the unarmed teenager, Mara Schiavacampo has more on these new developments. For the first time, we are seeing Officer Darren Wilson just hours after he fatally shot unarmed African-American teen Michael Brown. In this surveillance video obtained by the St. Louis Post-Dispatch, Wilson is seen walking out of the police station, according to the paper, headed to the hospital, accompanied by another officer and union lawyer. He does not appear to have any visible injuries. Frank 21. Can it with a report? After a public records request by the Post-Dispatch, Ferguson police released calls that took place before the deadly shooting. They reveal a detailed timeline of less than 10 minutes from the time Officer Wilson, Unit 21, offered his assistance in the search for a robbery suspect at 12 p.m. 21 to 25 or 22. You guys need me? To the time fellow officers control the scene where 18 year old Michael Brown lay dead in the middle of the street, hurt here at 1207. Get us several more units over here. There's going to be a problem. The new report increasing tension in a city already on edge. The community of Ferguson is waiting for the results of a grand jury looking into whether to indict Officer Wilson. There has been leaked testimony and several conflicting medical examiner's reports. The police department repeatedly defending Officer Wilson, including to our Steve Osinsami. His face was swollen, so he'd obviously uh, um, been hit or punched or something like that.